Hello, hello, what do you do, what do you do? Sudden Death has just dropped something new. He did a Diablo production stream. I'm sure you guys heard of it. I'm sure you guys saw some of it. Unfortunately, didn't show his dog. I want to go through this two and a half hour or three hour production stream. We'll find the best things. We'll see what I can dig out. And we'll basically talk about what's going on. So let's get into it. I haven't seen this yet. I'm not very good at streaming. <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, I basically have a bunch of effect samples, and I'm going to try to make a dubstep song out of all of this stuff. And originally I was going to do, like, like 30 minutes, but I think I'm just going to go until, like, 30. I get Imagine. something that sounds good. Um, Let's go. And, yeah, unfortunately, I wish I could show y'all a little bit more of my process here oh but you did um, want to show his doll i i think that uh diablo won't be happy with that yeah this is this is pretty much what i got going on right now but you will be able to like go. hear everything which actually is going to be even more annoying because <laughs> i'm basically going to be like cycling through samples you know the basically like producer meme where you're just like going through kick drums mm. but mm. in this case it's gonna be a bunch of like monster sounds and um like people being disemboweled disemboweled and shit so uh so yeah amorphic been using them zombie samples it's time for the sudden death cycles through samples stream um I have. Is that really all he's going to do? And found some stuff that I want to use, especially for production or um, percussion. Um, but in the sounds and using and utilizing all these. So I'm going to be skipping through with on this I'm transcript. I'm going to sample search. All pauses and stuff. So my bad. So throughout the stream, I'm going to kind of like tell you all what I'm doing um and a lot of this is really how I make music in general Sick. um I kind of like perfect go um and start out with something and in most cases it's something that I made in a synth um like serum mm -hmm. and then kind of just like go through a series of like granular resampling essentially and then mm. I'll like kind of record that and then take the parts that I like. Yeah. So um so that means he'll make I'm a dope sound and then create like all kinds of variations of the bass. I'm a little worried cuz it might completely for cohesion. Up my audio up, but um I'm going to try sending some stuff out Oh, he's putting audio through one of these granular synths. Okay, you can't see it. It's um, this like granular synth, like hardware, uh, called GR1, and I'm gonna try to send audio out. He will might fuck up audio. We'll see. Right now. Okay, this might work a little bit better for right now. Eight. So I'm basically just going to be taking these random samples and then just Yo, this is so sick. Thing. So this is probably how he gets a lot of his sound design. He using some hardware to make variations from the original. Cheer one. So that's just like the audio I recorded. So that's just like the audio I recorded. I'm just gonna like cycle through all this and 
fuck with the grains until I get basically I'm trying to get um even though there's like a lot of uh foley in the atmosphere and stuff I could just like throw a reverb on and it would sound cool for like an intro I think that um I'm just gonna like mess around until I kind of get like a little flow of something that I'm taking from here putting it through this and then I'm gonna uh do some more shit with like other resampling and resampling the sounds through like other um granular processes I guess it's worth noting I'm playing I have a keyboard like right here so I'm playing it right here. So this should be with the granular. Yeah. Now he's changing it. design going on right now. Sampling. Sent textures, drones, soundscapes, and pads. This is fire. $850. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, okay. Fire. Like a bunch of highs and uh, did not do it properly. So uh, don't do that. We have some atmosphere, a little interesting. I'm going to fuck around with this and kind of like make an intro. The next step, actually, before I start fucking with this, I'm going to try and make some drums using the samples. Drums using the samples. Sick. Footsteps and like glass clinks and stuff. Good for percussion. Is it the transients? He's he's looking for transients. That's for sure. That's such that could be a smart snare. Sounds like he's actually like pitching them down. Sounds like a good pan pan snare. snare right there. Ooh. And this kind of has. A bit of like an 808 boom sound to it. It could be like a cool layer, I think. With some extra processing. Hey, look, there's Jordan. I know this guy. Well, look at that Lodian, a wild Lodian spotted.
He's looping this already. He's looping something. I'm about to add a snare, it sounds like. I'm making the snare. Adding reverb. He tightened up that that sound to make it into a snare. Add the reverb is probably gonna dial it down. Yeah, that's much cleaner reverb. Tight. Or decay. Alright, we're starting a drum loop, it sounds like. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to um, make a kick, uh, but I feel like as a starting point, the snare sounds all right. We can definitely work around a little bit more. Um, make that kick, bye. But for the sake of time. Sounds like he's layering the original sound on top of like a sine wave to make the kick. Probably in like kick two or serum. Or anything else we can layer those two things. Sounds like the top layer he's working on. It's wide too, it's a wide layer. That's a wide boy. There's the sine wave with the top layer. Start farming into a kick. Ooh, getting loud. I make terrible ones. And then I'm like, and then sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, this one's great. But it's always like oh. one out of every 10. This one's great, but it's always one out of 10. But you can kind of work around it by resampling. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Oh, he made that kick. That's a nice, that has to be in kick too. That sounds, you can layer like top layers in there. Ooh. Is that drum loop? Not a rhythm loop, but dubstep loop, like a hip hop drum loop. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> I'm probably going to go back and put more samples through that granular synth and because a lot of it was kind of like um more screechy vocal like uh, a lot of it got picked up on the ghost melee attack it's a lot of highs boy which is an awesome sample, actually. Like for Phil. Mm. Mm. Gosh, so many samples. 
That sounds so good. This is showing you how creative this dude is. He says this is normal workflow, so if he's like creating his own kicks and snares every time. Super unique. Ooh. Nice big layer on that kick. Stompy. That's freaky. Sounds like he's running into the ground or something. like trying to find these deep tones, the sudden death tones. couple sounds in here that are usable um but the problem is is that they don't sound a lot like the original samples mm. so um I guess he needs them to sound like the original but they're like super usable one thing Maybe i want to try is on some make a song just like a quick machine gun made out of the per like random percussion and stuff oh, this is gonna be sick so basically he hears this percussive tonal sound and he knows he can make a gun out of it like that's what we need to remember make guns out of anything Get a cowboy's little clank on the shoe. If you look up how they do foley for these games and movies, they just use regular items around the house and around the business to create sounds for the game. So technically we can do the same thing. So he's layering the top layer with an 808, like a distorted 808, which is also a sine wave. This has a lot more harmonics. He's switching out the 808. Actually, might be adding some noise on top of it. Yeah, layering some noise with 808. He must be in serum or kick, too. It sounds pretty heavily processed. Sudden Death is really making a machine gun bass right now. I 
I'm going to take another one of these vocal samples here. And this one would be really cool in a different context, but I'm just going to save that. Um, see, that's the kind of sound that probably fucked my voice up. <laughs> texture layer. Sounds just like us when he's starting his tear out loop. Hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of this plugin. Hmm. Hey, yo. It's Shaper Box. I don't know why I couldn't remember. But <clears throat> I'm using that to sidechain along with a white noise. Um, I don't know if you all see my really old, really old production tutorial. Production tutorial. But same concept still applies. I still do mm -hmm. yeah. um, mm -hmm. that. But I also, for sidechaining, mm -hmm. use... Yo, this is um, it. Remember this one. What's up? Just like um, actual volume automation. Let's go with this upsound one. Ableton using Shaperbox. And then I also have been using, uh, yeah, basically just drawing curves through volume automation for a lot of side chaining stuff. And that's more of like a final mix down type thing. Um, and uh, I won't really typically do that until the very end of a song. <laughs> I'm going to try and make a sub. So he said earlier that the when he does shaper box and sidechain, he... I'm going to try and make a sub. That's it at the end. Uh, Final mix down type thing. I also think that this kick pattern is too crazy. Oh, too crazy kick pattern. The hat's like, okay. The hat. But not that great. Here's the old. What's up? Um, Here's the old one. That snare needs to be louder. I imagine him adding a separator. Chin it up and down. Might be tuning it as well. I can totally sit here for like five hours and just like make weird drums which is typically what i end up doing when i'm making new drums i'm gonna just try and get through like the percussion elements because there's so many like great samples in here that will work as good percussion sounds without me trying to um uh 
I guess like try and make, um, yeah, just like dubstep sounds or dubstep drums. The gun is so loud. But I think that's just a consequence of me trying to make stuff out of samples. Yeah. It's going to be a little quiet until I get the mix right. So he needs to process his samples heavily. Like that is slammed. For it to be loud enough. And not in a fun way. The gun Maybe. is too loud. Possibly. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna like fuck around with some random shit from the other stuff that I resampled. <laughs> sounds kind of cool is like a repeat um but like i i fuck with this sound too like <laughs> oh, 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 oh. so my original concept was trying to go for something a little more like uh like just dark like like kind of oh you don't say sudden death. very sinister that's, that's a already. surprise sudden death wants sinister <laughs> So this is for sure some like mm. uh more lo fi shit. Just a beat. You guys can make this into dub dub. Chicken up Modelo. What is that Modelo Zero? Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna not use this gun. There she goes. I'm going to grab some more random percussion and stuff. Another gun. A lot of earth. A lot of early. Kind of crazy. <laughs> Another 
So much experimentation. <laughs> There's a sub now matching the rhythm of that like loop thing that he had. The percussive loop thing. This this is about to sound fire, I think. My <laughs> project just died. No way. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I feel like the kick pattern is meh. <laughs> Like a lasery, transienty. Like a sign where the noise again. Am I gonna sub? Yeah. Distortion. Sounds like something's coming together. You're like, yes, let me see the screen. Listen to like the tone. It's almost like pitching down. Or like just the attack is going down. Definitely missing with some pitch, it sounds like. A lot of his subs sound like that. It's like Bro, if only he showed his screen right now, we would have the songs on exactly how he makes it up. But we got a lot. Um, I'm really not getting like the tone I want was popping. <laughs> Weed. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna What's just kind of like slam Weed. this. Um, normally I'm like I'm pretty good about like making a, like a, an idea really fast, but when I'm trying to do more experimental shit, uh, it kind of can. Um, can take me a while to kind of like get into the groove of it. So he thinks he's going slow right now. So right now I'm about to use like some of the outboard shit that I have. Sick. Um, Distortion unit? 
So right here is just like a distortion unit. It's called the analog heat. Um, <laughs> and analog I'm going to just slam heat. some drums into it. Oh, it's an easy $900 distortion unit. Electron analog. <laughs> this is what he's using. <laughs> Select different characters of distortion that he can run signals through. And there's filters. See all these filters in the EQ? This is awesome. There's an amp, filter, envelope, LFO settings. This is sick. Noise. That's fire. It's a lot of noise, but OP. Okay. If this is like super loud, I'm just gonna like turn down the master. I guess I can't really tell like how loud it is. Um, so yeah, I just recommend people like turn it down because I'm just gonna keep on turning things up louder. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep turning things up louder. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like if you're worried or if you're like Let's listening go. on headphones, like seriously, like. Like You're going to be hearing like an extremely loud snare or something like that over and over and over and over again. Uh, um, <laughs> warning. Sudden death warning. <laughs> Sudden death. Sudden death for an alien. <laughs> You know that shit hits when it says foreign. I'm making a new A kick has like an 808 drum with it, you know. Basically, he like layered out a different pattern for his sub, made it like a little faster, and then he's flipping through different 808s and subs. like this because getting into the flow state like flowing into the music hearing all these different frequencies and sounds gathering them all together and creating a piece of art 
it's just sounds so powerful. So I think we definitely need to be doing more of this stuff right here, yeah? I love you. That's that good, good. Sick. Balls. Thick. Okay. get so complex so fast with them you know there's like vocal loop going on bass loop going on percussion elements in a sub and he's like changing them all okay it sounds like better to me at least like more um sounds better to me at least like more um like i got kind of like a more of an idea but i'm gonna just like start literally throwing all these samples in together and there's so many that are like so cool and putting Sick. them through like uh any kind of like granular synth we're gonna get some weird shit right now so <laughs> Majority of his music is that sub, really. Sounds like he's just layering, just continuously layering. Stop asking for the doll. The entire entertainment of this project comes from being sinister and as low key as possible. He won't give you the secret formula. <laughs> follow me. Oh, 
So quick with it. That snare. Yeah, snare's trash. Sucks. I gotta really fix it. <laughs> you can do it. I know that. Ugh, that's so sick. So, in order to like make a lot of snares, I really, really slam them and then take it down. So, I'm gonna try and be considerate, but it's hard for me to like listen to it, especially when the audio is going out. I'm gonna make sure it's not like insanely loud, cause like right here I have control. Turn it down. Thing and changed it. Like deafening, like minus point one luffs. Mm. Just horrible. Oh, I hope not. That's really loud. Negative zero love. I gotta be like real careful. Turn your shit down, boys. You know what I mean? Why does it sound so distorted over there? I don't know if you can hear, but there's a lot of high frequencies, a lot of high layers on top of the low layer kick and the low layer sub and that's making a huge difference in the sound <laughs> And like, if you can tell, he made his bass with like percussive elements. He uses that subtone a lot, that distortion tone. Oh, see, and if you hear, he just brought in the lows. So he was messing with the distortion high layer, changing that, and then he like brings in the lows so that they both combine, and that's what Chris is sick. Well, my 18th month old daughter loves it. She's jumping very high. It's a beast.
changing the rhythm and the speed of the sub and the main bass. <laughs> He's really just getting the main idea down. Super sick. Just like slammed. Very loud. <laughs> what? Bro, this boy done made like a little intro. Yeah, the call and response is sick. Like it's such kind of empty and silent for a little bit. And then... Fucking beast. Oh, he makes me want to make music so bad right now. So, <clears throat> one problem I'm having right now is that uh, since the crash, a lot of my plugins that I was using to like kind of make the mix sound better um, got lost. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so I'm going to have to work through that again. But it's also really slammed. So just understand this is how I make music. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, what a boss. <laughs> Took him two hours to make some heat. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear, but there's a lot of things that are really wide. And then like the main bass is in the middle. It's like mono, like living in its own space. And it's kind of dry, not too much reverb. It's like really front and center, which is sick. Matches well with the sub. So he filled out the stereo image. He filled out all the frequency spectrum. That's most important. Lows, mids, highs, wide stereo and then also his mono all right so that's like a start right there uh i'm gonna try something else